Hi, it's Joy, and today we're watching Arcane, season one, episode four. Happy progress day, and after how the last episode ended, happy anything day does not seem accurate. I am loving this show so far. A reminder that, as always, you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance, and let us go. Hmm. I don't know much about him. Time passed. Grossy dish not shaved in a while. I agree with them. Your hex gates have done wonders for our city. Time has passed. How much time? Mainly concerned about you deserve this honor. my children. Whoa. Yeah, things are changing. But have they got even worse below? Whoa. The rich get richer. But does that go to every element of society? Oh, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Trickle down economics does not work. I mean, it's epic, but I wonder how real arcane users or whatever feel about it. Oh, now they're back to being like pro him when they ditched him the second he fell out of favor. Avoiding her? I'm working. Time indeed. I mean, there's so much. This is not a shiny looking ship. Back to the real world, or at least closer to it. From your friend downtown. Ooh. How was she affected by the explosion? Ooh, Ooh the firelights. Who are these people? Oh god. That looks like something. A little one would have drawn. Oh no. She's here. Fucking hell. Oh god. What's come of powder? You better get out of here, Firelights, or whatever your names are. Oh, yeah, there she is, all grown up. I'm deathly effective. I hate that that sweet little girl's become this. I need to know more about what she's like, but killing without any issues. Oh shit. I? I wondered if that might have been. But was that Violet or was that just someone that looked like Violet? Well that was suicide, good job. She's still just a broken, frightened little girl. Who's deathly powerful and epic now, but wasn't by right to someone that looked like her. How easy it is to pretend everything shiny and wonderful up here, eh? We present to you the next chapter of Hextech. Oh my lord, Thanos! Portable devices. I want Hextech to be a tool for us to build a new. Are they gonna want this though? Because it's for everyone. It's obviously still in the temperamental phase. This, but give it a decade of careful research <laughs> and it will be ready. There do need to be safeguards and problems ironed out. Yeah. Someone that wasn't exactly the most stable here. I didn't do anything. She's crazy. <laughs> Interfering in an investigation. I wondered if yeah. she had the. You're supposed to be guarding your mother's tent. But there's more going on here than just the smuggling. If I could he knows. Him, I'll I... take it from here. Since you're looking for more work, you can take the graveyard shift tonight at the fair. I feel like there's going to be some action Good. there. I want this one. Do they have any hex tech down here? She froze up and lost her shit. Uh huh. I mean, she did. Handle those brats. She's a problem and we all know it. He's got a blind spot though. You failed. Don't disappoint me again. Mm -mm. 
It's not good working for an evil man, is it? Today's screw up will set us back weeks. Is she okay? Take some time. I, I don't need time. Everyone could do with time. How much time has passed exactly? I hate this. I mean, Jinx has clearly not been in a particularly healthy environment. Where is Vi? Speak of the devil. She covered for him that day. Wouldn't have been possible without that. I just worry about where this tech's gonna go. It's Heimerdinger. When is it not? <laughs> We've shown him our research. And he has a cautious natural response to it. There's a time to present a new creation. It, it needs time to iron out so it doesn't randomly shoot dogs. Needs a My heart is just breaking for powder Someone like you and for the world she should have grown up in. Potential to change everything. The world is ready. It also has the potential to destroy everything. Investors. This is not the workshop of a mentally stable person. It wasn't her. Was it? Sweetheart. I know, just, just some beakers are regular Johnny on the spot. Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna show him. Y'all see. I hate this for her. She deserves so much better. Oh, is he desperate because he's sick and not getting better and he wants to text okay. somehow? They were asking if I could go the address. You should come up with me. We're partners. No, no, I, not in front of you. Does he want him to have fought for it? Like, you know, not just taken no not in front of all of them because he looks like the shiny golden boy, whereas he looks, you know, less palatable as a shiny golden boy, isn't he? You know, he's he's not a picture of perfect health and handsomeness. Um, did he want Jace to fight? To be like, no, oh, you really should come up, or was he okay with it? Basically what I'm wondering is, is there any growing resentment between these two? Victor for Jace getting to be the face of everything, or does he accept that that's kind of how things have to be and he came along the scene and helped finish it rather than creating it? Guess it's time. <laughs> Even drinking from mugs with your face on, it would go to anyone's head. Especially a young man that was desperate for the accolades and the attention and the glory and to help people, sure. But he wanted all of that and now he's got it and his family's name is glorified and he's glorified. Very concerned. And the fact that like she disowned him when he fell out of favour. Oh, I'm with you, little guy. And believe me, I'm just as shocked as you are. Oh, he's such a humble guy. I'm so concerned. Made Piltover prosper beyond anything we could have ever imagined. Yes, it did. Woo! Money. We like our money. We're not done yet. We'll share with you in the fullness of time. When the time is right, for an honest laborer from the underground, we vow to keep. He's good at speaking. There's a fumble in the middle there. There wasn't really much of a speech, though, I have to say. She's so proud of her boy. Oof. Do the right thing. Last year, didn't he launch a blimp halfway across the continent? Why do the women wear, like, skimpy dress things and the men are all covered up? Like, where are their legs on display? I know that, like, video game design has often been kind of sexist, but, like, it, it just seems weird to me. That the men are all covered up and the women are like, huh, look at my legs. Is it her mother's tent? Is it powder? Jinx? Jinx powder? There is no child. Just a very disturbed young lady. Mm hmm. Happy progress day indeed. <laughs> She's not well. She needs so many better influences in her life. I hate who she's become. The gemstone is gone. 
along with some of our research papers. There she goes. The is still developing. We need to address this immediately. I agree. <laughs> it was my responsibility. I have come before you to recommend that we suspend all Hextech operations until the situation is resolved. Whoa. Including our laboratories, the refinery, he is and the Hex game. Really taking responsibility. You lost your mind? The Hex sacrifice your life's work? Without the Hex gates, my goods cannot reach foreign markets. But he would. He wants to do the right thing, and he has my respect for that. The next shipment of wine will be vinegar. Counselors. Oh no, not the wine. As a counselor, he will have the resources necessary to protect all our investments. Counselor Murdoch. And his partner's being left behind. I second the motion. Well then, shall we vote? Jesus Christ. The division between the two partners is very strong now, but also what a rise. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, have you are responsible for this. You could have put aside some of your evil megalomania and helped raise her more sensibly. But now you're not going to care. I noticed that the colour scheme is all very her and Vi. The blue and the pinky red. God, he really found her at her most vulnerable and made sure to keep her as vulnerable as possible and dependent on him. Like, she is... I would not want to meet her in a dark alley. She would kill me. But she also just deserves so much more... I don't know. Love and stability. While the trail is hot, they've overstepped. If I can figure out who made this, it could lead me directly to whoever's behind it all. You could. The answer is here. But it could also get you killed. You don't. After the attack, your parents spoke to the sheriff. Oh my god. That's awful. I get why her parents are worried that they don't they, they don't want her to get hurt. And I can also get that they might not want her to break away from the family tradition. And you know, they can't boast a cocktail party or whatever that they have a daughter who's a common guard. But they should respect her and support her. How did she get here? Did he take her here straight from the streets? Who the hell are you? Jesus Christ. I was wondering where Vi was. Did the guy take her from that fight straight to arrest her because he was a guard or something? Or has she ended up there somewhere? I mean, I'll find out in the next episode, but my God. Oh, just seeing powder, seeing Jinx breaks your heart, doesn't it? Because Yes, I think a lot of people, if you go through so many traumatic things, it can kind of cause a little bit of a fracture or like a decline in your mental stability and especially being raised by evil gang gangster people. Clearly, she did not cope very well with causing the deaths of her father figure and brothers and then having her sister leave her, in her opinion, although we know it was more, there was more to it than that as viewers. Um, and the people she was with did not do a very good job of stabilising her in any way, shape or form. In the sense that now as a character, she both breaks my heart and utterly terrifies me. Like, I believe Jinx could destroy the world, but it also breaks my heart that she's as lost as she is, because she would never admit it, but she is. Um, I'm so excited to continue to explore her character to see, you know, I feel like this episode was very much showing us how she is now, and I can't wait to really explore how she's become like this and also just kind of I don't know, basically how much of the sweet little girl is in there still you know is there someone that we could pull out of this darkness and save or is she someone that we're going to end up rooting to end up locked up and I mean I don't ever want her to die or anything but does she need to be arrested because I mean she's killed a lot of people and I do not support that those were especially those guards weren't even like particularly corrupt or anything they were, they were just guards doing their job I don't like that I, at all um, but how old is she and how much has she been through? Could she get the support and assistance within the TV show to become a character I could support again? So yeah, she breaks my heart when I think of that little girl and for Violet, Vi, I think she called her Violet, Violet like one time and now my brain's like, Violet. Um, I don't know how much she, obviously we need to know more about her story. I Potentially she's been here because her number was a lot lower than the guy that was just brought in, which makes you think maybe she has been here since that night. Um, it just the idea of seeing what her sister's become will destroy her whether she's heard about it and it's been destroying her over time or whether when she hears about it it'll be the first time um seeing how much that little girl that was so sweet is gone in so many ways her body count the fact that 
as far as her sister's concerned, she just ditched her. I just I never, don't even want to imagine what's going on inside Vi's head right now. Or inside oh, Jinx's head. I'm sure it's not a very fun place to be. The the kind of the way they I say shot, I don't animated. The like kind of skips, you know, like it wasn't fluid. It really kind of shows you that her head is that chaotic with thoughts bouncing around. And I feel like a lot of that is her trying to deflect from feeling anything real, feeling any of the real hard, messy emotions that she has. And it's really devastating as well to see what's happened to the, the Undercity, to the lanes. You know, I feel like the increased kind of drug use with the shimmer or whatever, and all of the sort of the more gangsteriness with him running the lanes and the oh my god, the, the last drop. I, I feel like some of the community is gone. Now, maybe there are probably, I imagine, still areas where that community exists, but it's much more of a kind of... It's, it's even like before, it was just people that maybe had to use some dodgier tactics, some criminal activities to survive. Now it's people that seem to take an active pleasure in running around being criminal activity, and it, it's stressful. Vanda would be devastated to see what has happened to his girls. Um... So I don't currently have an in-depth lot to say about Jinx, other than she's breaking my heart and terrifying me. And it makes me really sad if I feel like potentially she could become a character I can't support. Enjoy, regardless, but devastate me as well. I'm very excited to learn more about Vi. Maybe is it going to be the um, thingy magic? Oh my god, her name. I feel like her name was like a really normal name. And then it was like weird to me that her name is like her name we could see on the streets today and I've gone for her to maybe work with Vi and try and find powder and figure it all out we will see um and did she attack him in the canteen because she knew he was part of the gang that killed Vanda and caused what happened with her sister maybe even the gang that still has her sister was that why she attacked him because she's kind of hates that gang with a vengeance what has happened to her what is her mental state like now I just I need these answers my heart is breaking then we have the Piltover, and Piltover is shiny and golden and perfect in the best place ever, and totally and utterly ignoring the suffering of the people at the bottom of their land. Uh, of course they are. The rich always do that. And they argue that capitalism and trickles down, like if the rich can get loads of money, then it trickles down, when in fact, as we have seen, the bosses get loads of bonuses, the prices rise, and the people at the bottom, they don't get pay rises. They don't get any trickle down. It's, it's a joke. Um, but we are seeing definitely that, that is the case here and it's really interesting me interesting to me to see Jace and how far this man has risen you know he was kicked out of the academy almost banished from Piltover to being the golden man drinking I mean, drinking mugs with his face on it and everything and just I was worrying how far he was buying into his own image if that makes sense because I think it is very easy to lose yourself to the allure of the glory and the prize and, and that when people are like you're the best to be like oh, maybe I am and I think especially when they're praising you for something that you've actually done as in harnessing this technology I do wonder how much of a break we're gonna see between him and Victor because I feel like Victor's been a bit hesitant about getting the glory and things because he's not from a no like he's had to fight from the undercity to get here he's not from a um noble house or whatever you know he's not someone that is as easy you know jace can make a joke about oh, my family made hammers like we were the, we were a lower house but it's easier for people to accept the rise of lower aristocracy than it is to accept a total newcomer not to mention that he's disabled that he's potentially still ill um you know he he's not as polished and perfectly put together looking as Jace and I do wonder whether a part of him is resentful that Jace has at no point kind of been a bit more like no come on you should come and share the stage with me we're doing this together you because Jace couldn't have done this without him we saw that maybe he could have much 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 down the line I wonder whether that's going to be a thing and is it going to be a thing for him that Jace is now on the council and they did this thing together he couldn't have achieved this hex tech without Victor but Victor is just sat at the side or is Victor totally okay with not being in the limelight as long as he gets the work and the job done. I'm interested to see where that goes. Is he more going to be concerned that Jace is maybe forgetting the magic and the wonder of their discoveries? Or does he want to push things as far as they can go? But I was really proud of Jace for the fact that he did seem to genuinely stand up to the council in the sense, I mean, he didn't show off that technology because it wasn't ready. And then he stood up to them and he said, well, maybe we should just haul all of it to be safe. I, I worry that he still could completely lose himself to the glory of it all especially now he's a great council member but I think that took a lot of courage especially someone who 
he has come, he knows what it's like to be cast out and to kind of be viewed as nothing. And so if he goes too far down this line, he's to say that they wouldn't say, oh, someone else could work on the hex tech, then bye, you know, fame fades fast or turns sour easily. And he knew that when he was saying that. So that did buy some respect for me. On the flip side of everything I've been saying, kind of, with everything feeling sort of sympathetic towards Victor, is Victor gonna have more of a like, no, we should push forward, go, go, go. Who can like along the the progress? Because there is certainly you know, people have the argument that progress. It doesn't matter how many people get hurt along the way, as long as you get to the end goal. But if you kill a lot of people along the way, like if, if you destroy lives or whatever along the way to your end goal, it's not worth it, in my opinion. So I had a lot of respect for Jace, but there's a lot of concerns there with just what this technology is going to mean and where it's going to go. And of course, with what old Red Eye Man is going to do with it now that Jinx has so nicely trotted off to get it for him. Um, and the council's gonna have eight. Now that, I feel like a good thing about having odd numbers is you can't have a tied vote unless someone abstains. Whereas with eight, they could go four to four and then how would they decide things? Um, but I think being open to adding new voices to a council is important because especially as a civilization, a city changes and grows, there are gonna be new ideas and new people coming in. So I am glad that they were willing to do that. It's just, what is her plan? I can't remember her name. It's something like Moderna, but I don't think it is Moderna because Moderna is the vaccine. You know, she walked out. She was not happy when he didn't present either his new technology or present her plan for giving the hex tech to other people for a price. Um, I worry because I think I don't even dislike her currently. I don't know enough about her character really. It's more just, I feel like she has been raised very much in this, you've got to be the best of the best, you've got to make money, you've got to be the greatest. And I worry that she would be willing to cross boundaries to get there. In particular, we've seen her do that when she allowed Jason Victor to go into the lab to work on this thing that could have destroyed lives. Um, I worry about where all of these characters and their drives and their ambitions that don't necessarily come from evil places could leave them. So this was a good episode. I feel like this was almost a second pilot. I mean, it very much was, and it furthered the plot in a lot of ways that we previously had. But it was it was all over different. You know, these characters are almost all totally changed. I'd say that there are sort of three main-ish characters in Vi, Powder, and Jace, and maybe his friend whose name does not stick in my brain. Um, Jace kind of in the, came into it a bit later, but he's in like the Piltover side, the main part. And he had fundamentally changed because he is now the city's golden boy. And then you've got, we didn't really see Vi, but she is alone, in prison, angry. I, I, I'm i looking forward to seeing more about her mental state right now. And then we had Powder, Jinx, and she is breaking my heart into thousands of pieces and terrifying me. She's epic. I love, like, it, it, it was done, it, it was amazing, but also just utterly heartbreaking. So yeah, this was a really good episode. Thank you so, so much for watching.